Today I am sharing with you a makeup tutorial that is kind of special to me and a little bit close to my heart and I'm really excited to bring it to you. I know that might sound sort of strange. This is my most beautiful makeup tutorial. This is how I feel the prettiest, how I feel the most confident and comfortable in myself. And a lot of the times when I'm doing tutorials for YouTube, I'm trying my hardest to branch out of what I already know, I'm trying my hardest to use products I'm unfamiliar with, um, and doing things that are different and unique. Things that maybe I might not normally do, but I want to be better and I want to show you guys different looks and how to be creative with makeup. But this is how I feel most confident every single day and I'm going to talk a little bit more about what being my most beautiful means to me. Recently I've come to terms with the fact that being feminine and being delicate and <laughs> wanting to feel that way doesn't mean that I am weak and I like to portray this sort of image from time to time so I'm going to show you guys how I achieve it. This is actually my entry into the It Cosmetics It Girl contest and all of the people who are entering right now are competing to become the next It Girl for It Cosmetics, which is crazy to me. The prizes are insane. Um, you even have like the chance to develop a product with It Cosmetics. It is crazy, crazy, crazy sauce. So I would appreciate it more than you guys could possibly know if you would please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to share it on social media, you can using the hashtag vote It Girl. That would help me so much. And I am like so excited at the prospect of even maybe maybe winning this. I know it's a long shot. There are some amazing ladies competing, but I would love if you guys wanted to support me. So thank you in advance. If you choose to, you guys are awesome. And if you want to see my most beautiful summer fresh face look, then just stay tuned. So I'm going to start off here with clean skin and jump straight into primer. Today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX because it not only prolongs the wear of my makeup, but it's also super hydrating, which is what I need out of a primer. I do have very dry skin, so I'm always looking for something to help my makeup last longer and also to keep my skin nice and hydrated. In the summer, I tend to go for CC or BB creams over full coverage foundation because they tend to have higher SPF as well as more benefits for the skin, but this IT Cosmetics CC cream is my lifesaver. It not only has SPF 50, it has beautiful, beautiful coverage and just goes on like a dream. It is my moisturizer, my SPF, and my foundation all in one. So I'm first going to dot that on the face in one even layer and then I'm going to blend that in using a Coastal Sense buffing brush. Then instead of foundation on my problem areas, I'm just going to do a second layer of the CC cream because it is so, so full coverage. I can go from pretty much sheer to like full coverage with this product depending on how I apply it. Though I'm not going to take the time to individually conceal every spot on my face, I am going to take two concealers underneath my eyes because I feel like concealer in this area changes my whole face. So first I'm going to use a brightening concealer. The salmony tone will pretty much cancel out any dark circles that I might have. Then I'm going to take a lighter skin tone concealer. This one is from Urban Decay and it is in the Naked Skin formula. And I'm going to highlight between the brows, down the nose, under the eyes, anywhere where I want to correct any problems. I do bring this highlight pretty low on my cheeks just because I want a very strong highlighted look and I'm not going to be taking concealer anywhere else so I'm not worried about too much cake face going on. The consistency of these concealers together is very thin and that way you can still see things beneath it but it's camouflaging what I don't want peeking out. See how like bright and flawless and highlighted this area looks now? I feel like highlighting, just like contouring, adds definition back into the face after you've made your entire canvas blank with foundation. So after that, I'm going to set just under the eyes using a lighter face powder from Rimmel. And I'm only going to be powdering under the eyes today. I really, really, really want a fresh face, dewy look for summer. This way the concealer just will not crease throughout the day and it will stay put, which is really important, especially in the warmer weather. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids for shadow and all of the products that I will be putting on top of them. And again, we just want to make sure that everything is locked in on the face. The longer it lasts, the better. We are going to jump into Naked One, and I'm just going to take the color Naked on a fluffy brush and dust that really, really messily into the crease. Sometimes I swear to God, I take like 30 second naps when I do this stuff because it is such a no brainer. You can be as messy as you want and it doesn't even matter in the final look. I'm going to go into this Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadow in the shade Bella Champagne. This is a beautiful, beautiful peachy champagne color. And I'm going to pack that all over the lid using a fluffy shader brush. Having this lighter shade on the lid really helps to make the eyes look more open and round. And so if you wanted a very round eyed effect, you could just put this shade 
laid all over the lid, leave that really light brown in the crease, and be done. But I'm going to add a little bit of definition in the outer view that you'll see later. For now, I'm going to take this lighter white color, and this is a satin matte finish from Milani, which means it is not too shimmery, but there is a bit of a sheen. I'm going to use this on the very inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to jump into this shade also from Milani, and this is a really beautiful rosy bronze color. I'm going to use this on the very outer corners of my eyes and really, really pack this color on. This, for me, gives my eyes a bit of a cat shape. It kind of angles them because that darkest color is on the very outer corner, but the lightest color is on the inner part. As opposed to a smoky eye, which can close your eyes up a little bit, this makes my eyes look more open while also being slightly angled. So I'm going to pack that on the outer corner, then take it on a fluffy brush and dust it into the crease. Completely forgot to show this step on camera, but I did highlight the brow bone using this white eyeshadow we used on the inner corners from Milani. Now I'm going to line my upper lids using liquid liner. You might notice my like eyeshadow is looking a tiny bit unblended on my right eye. Yes, my right eye. And sometimes even I make mistakes and I have to go back in and fix them. But for now, I'm lining my eyes. Then to fix the shadow on the right eye, I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and dust really lightly against the edges of where I want that shadow to end. It's a very quick fix. Just kind of cleans it right on up. Then I'm going to take the darkest color I used on my outer corners on my... See how like bright and flawless and highlighted this area looks now? I feel like highlighting, just like contouring, adds definition back into the face after you've made your entire canvas blank with foundation. So, after that, I'm going to set just under the eyes using a lighter face powder from Rimmel. And I'm only going to be powdering under the eyes today. I really, really, really want a fresh face, dewy look for summer. This way, the concealer just will not crease throughout the day and it will stay put, which is really important, especially in the warmer weather. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids for shadow and all of the products that I will be putting on top of them. And again, we just want to make sure that everything is locked in on the face. The longer it lasts, the better. We are going to jump into Naked One, and I'm just going to take the color Naked on a fluffy brush and dust that really, really messily into the crease. Sometimes I swear to God, I take like 30 second naps when I do this step because it is such a no brainer. You can be as messy as you want and it doesn't even matter in the final look. I'm going to go into this Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadow in the shade Bella Champagne. This is a beautiful, beautiful peachy champagne color. And I'm going to pack that all over the lid using a fluffy shader brush. Having this lighter shade on the lid really helps to make the eyes look more open and round. And so if you wanted a very round eyed effect, you could just put this shade all over the lid, leave that really light brown in the crease and be done. But I'm going to add a little bit of definition in the outer view that you'll see later. For now, I'm going to take this lighter white color, and this is a satin matte finish from Milani, which means it is not too shimmery, but there is a bit of a sheen. I'm going to use this on the very inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to jump into this shade also from Milani, and this is a really beautiful rosy bronze color. I'm going to use this on the very outer corners of my eyes and really, really pack this color on. This, for me, gives my eyes a bit of a cat shape. It kind of angles them because that darkest color is on the very outer corner, but the lightest color is on the inner part. As opposed to a smoky eye, which can close your eyes up a little bit, this makes my eyes look more open while also being slightly angled. So I'm going to pack that on the outer corner, then take it on a fluffy brush and dust it into the crease. Completely forgot to show this step on camera, but I did highlight the brow bone using this white eyeshadow we used on the inner corners from Milani. Now I'm going to line my upper lids using liquid liner. You might notice my like eyeshadow is looking a tiny bit unblended on my right eye. Yes, my right eye. And sometimes even I make mistakes and I have to go back in and fix them. But for now, I'm lining my eyes. Then to fix the shadow on the right eye, I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and dust really lightly against the edges of where I want that shadow to end. It's a very quick fix. Just kind of cleans it right on up. Then I'm going to take the darkest color I used on my outer corners on my lower lash line, and I'm really heavily focusing this on my outer third. Normally, I like to keep colors quite close to the lash line, but if you can tell here, I'm actually creating almost like a half moon shape under the eyes, but only in the outer third area. Then I'm going to blend that out using this fluffy brush from e.l.f. To make me look a bit more awake, I'm going to take that white shadow from Milani once again and just pack it on the innermost corners of my eyes. 
We will come back to eyes in a little bit, but for now, let's focus on the face. I'm first going to take a tiny bit of bronzer. This one is from NYC, and I'm going to dust this where my face naturally sinks in, and this will add more shadow to my face. You can use bronzer for a ton of different things, but today I'm really using it to be a very light contour. Taking it under those cheekbones on the sides of the forehead, basically giving myself an illusion of a slimmer, more sculpted face. I'll even take it under the jawline to hide any signs of a double chin. This is a really good trick for you ladies who um, want to hide that at all or want to change the shape of your face for a day. It really helps. I'm going to take a face powder that very closely matches my own skin tone and on a kabuki brush, just press that right under the contour. This will really, really, really help to sharpen up that line. And while I already have it out, I'm also going to powder my upper lip because I tend to sweat there. Let's be totally real. I like to put a little bit of powder there to catch oil throughout the day. Then I'm going to contour the sides of my nose using the exact same powder that I use for bronzing and contouring. So I'm taking that down the sides of my nose and then I'm going to blend that like crazy with a clean brush. Then to really sharpen up that line and make my nose look a little bit straighter, I'm going to use a bit of matte face powder down the center of my nose. I'm also going to use a very bright, vibrant pink blush on my cheeks. This one does have a bit of a shimmer, and it looks gorgeous, especially on tan skin. So I'm going to smile and pop that right on the cheeks here, and this will actually add a lot to my sculpted face look. It helps to really define the cheekbones while also adding color to my face. Then I'm going to highlight using my favorite highlighting powder from MAC, and I'm going to take that on the tops of my cheekbones. I'll pop a very, very, very tiny bit at the very end of my nose, which creates the illusion that my nose actually turns up a bit more because the light is catching in that area, as well as in the very center of my forehead to draw attention to my brows, which I'm actually going to work on right now. I'm going to fill them in using a brow pencil that works best for my hair color. I'm filling them in, really focusing on sparse areas, then I'm going to set them in place so that they do not budge throughout the day using a bit of clear brow gel. Since I'm using minimal powder here, I'm going to set my whole face using the Urban Decay Makeup Misting Set Spray, and this will keep my makeup in place all day long. This is an optional step, but I'm going to take a bronzy brown liner from MAC and put that on my upper tight line of my eyes as well as my waterline. Putting this here really draws attention to them and makes them look a little bit darker and more smoldering. If you wanted your eyes to look rounder, again, you could put a nude liner here instead. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a few coats of my favorite volumizing mascara. This look is so versatile, and honestly, if you were looking for a more natural way to wear this, you could use a ton of mascara and give yourself some crazy gorgeous voluminous lashes but I need a little bit of help so I'm going to pop on my favorite lashes right now from Ardell and these are the natural wispies so I'm putting those as close to the lash band as I possibly can and having a really nice dark liner really helps to camouflage these into my eyes Now I'm going to line my lips using Max Boldly Bare Lip Liner, and side note, there is nothing bare about this. It is a beautiful peachy color, but I always think like Boldly Bare would be like a really nice nude color, but I am using it to overline my lips ever so slightly. Then I'm going to use Milani's Color Statement Lipstick in the shade Nude Cream, and that is it for my most beautiful summer look. So that's going to be all for me, and if you guys did enjoy, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, my loves, I will see you very, very soon. Bye.